This video will cover where you can access SuccessFactors recruitment, how to log in, navigating the home screen, accessing the careers section as an employee, and setting up a general profile. You can access this home page in a number of ways. You can come to this home page through a direct web link, you can access it through all yours, or you can access it through your intranet site. To log into the, the system for the first time, you need to use your payroll number as your username, and it'll be your full six-digit payroll number, so if uh, you have any leading zeros, you need to include those. Your password for your initial login will be your full date of birth. Now, I've logged in before, so it's going to just accept my password as I've set it, um, but for your initial login, it'll actually prompt you to set a password for the system. Once you log in, it'll bring you to your home page here. This is your home or landing page. On the home screen, there's a, a number of items. So you can see there's a tile here that has all your information and I've uploaded a, a photo. You can also see down here some of your team's details and those people who report to you. There's also a to-do section. Uh, in the to-do section, it covers off all the tasks that have been assigned to you and you can quickly access anything that you need to action within the system here within the to-dos pan within the to -dos panel. Based on your role within the system, you'll get access to a number of screens and those screens are accessible through the, the home drop-down tab located here. We're going to navigate to the career section now and go through the different options and, and functionality that's available as an internal applicant. The career section homepage starts here on the job search tab and you can see a number of other tabs have uh, come onto the screen here at the top. This search screen here shows all the different variables that you can use in refining a search to look for a, a potential job within the system. You can see down here that currently, with no filters applied, there's 26 jobs available within the system. Once I apply any of the filters, it'll refresh and tell you how many jobs are now available. So you can see here there's three jobs. If you put any uh, or too many filters on to the point where this turns to a zero, you can then just pair back and take some of those filters off to get to, the, to a, a refined list of jobs that you want to review. The next tab here shows job applications. Under job applications, you'll see a summary of items or jobs that, you, that you've applied for in the past. Something that's different to our current system is you can see here there's a lot more transparency on what step or status you're up to within that application process. This view or transparency will also be something that's available to our external candidates as well within their profile. The next tab along has, uh, that we're going to focus on today has saved searches or alerts. Now in this, in this tab here you can actually set a search that you want to rerun on a number of occasions and whenever you come in you can just automatically run that search. So if there's a particular division you're interested in, interested in or a particular geographical area you can run a search here. You can also set up an alert so that if something that meets that criteria becomes available within the system, the system will automatically alert you via an email to, to encourage you to come back into the system and review that, that new uh, opportunity. The next tab is My Candidate Profile, and within the profile there's a number of elements that you can update, including your work history, you can attach documents, whether it be work samples or other things, uh, you can update your education, certificates, languages, etc. And this information will be used in any application that you start within the system. So it'll pre-fill based on some of the profile items that you've already added to the system here. One of the other additions that we've made to this system, which is different to our current system, is that you can actually also set a status or a request for a transfer. Now this might mean that you're looking for, you're going to change locations and you're looking for opportunities that might come up in a different geographic location because you work a long way from home or you're moving to another state or, or something to that effect. 
You can also, within this section here, set up that you're looking for extra hours uh, within your store, for example. The last tab here talks about saved applications, and this is where you may have started an application process and for whatever reason have been interrupted or not had time to uh, complete the full application. You can come back at any time then and complete the application from where you left off. So just to recap, we've covered off where you can access SuccessFactors recruitment from, how to log in, navigating the home screen and some of the functionality that's in the home screen, accessing the career section as an employee, and the items you can set up within a general profile.